Now welcome to another lightning response video where this time it's not technically a question we have but a comment that I saw that I kind of wanted to respond to even though this is actually something I know I have talked about quite a bit before but it seems like a good topic to bring up again here in the wake of the Acolyte here in the wake of a show that a lot of fans thought really wasn't that good and that according to the numbers we have so far it hasn't been doing great either. It recently, or with the fourth episode, it already fell out of the Nielsen top 10 when it comes to the ratings or watch time. But anyway, that comment was from Think Again, who said, just recently saw a comment with someone saying we should just enjoy the show for what it is and just stop complaining about it. This is what frustrates me with many of the Disney defenders, is that they don't care about an actual story with substance, they just want us to take what they give us and not complain, despite how terrible everything they give us is. Alright, and before even getting into it, I don't think it's that they don't care about the story at all. I mean, they would prefer a great story, but they're not going to let the fact that maybe the story isn't the greatest ruin their enjoyment of Star Wars is maybe the best way I can put it. And I do get it. I do understand why some fans out there just feel that way or just want to love everything Star Wars and never really want to criticize it. I also want to love everything Star Wars and be happy and positive towards it all the time or would very happily do that if it actually were good all the time or the vast majority of the time. But yeah, I do understand it. I do want to love Star Wars as well. And I also get that when you do see so many people out there negative towards it, when you see so many people making um, what you consider to be hate videos about something that you very much love, it makes you want to sort of react and defend it even more or even more intensely. And so I'm understanding here. I really am. I've even a long time ago been one of those fans who never really wanted to be critical of anything Star Wars and just wanted to embrace all of it and love all of it. So I do get it. I'm not exactly mad or anything like that at fans who feel this way for whatever that might be worth to them. And I honestly don't want this to come off as an attack against anyone who is positive pretty much all the time, who says things like, I just try to look at all the good things and ignore the bad, I just want to love Star Wars. Which is what this comment was kind of pointing out, those type of comments. And yeah, I do see them all the time too, either in my videos or especially on a place like Twitter or X where people are always posting stuff like this. They're always saying something to the effect that, they always just look at the good and that we should even be grateful we get any Star Wars at all. And so setting aside the fact that we have to pay for Star Wars so we shouldn't just be grateful to get it, it's kind of a strange thing to say that you're grateful for the opportunity to buy something from a mega corporation that wants it to be consumed by the masses because in all reality they just want to make money from it and from you. They're not giving us Star Wars because they love Star Wars. In all reality, they don't care about Star Wars. They care about the potential to make money from it. And they're giving it to you because they know you love Star Wars and will pay for it. That, like virtually all these big companies do, they're always trying to get as much as they can from you by giving you as little as they have to. They are always trying to maximize profits, and there's nothing they love hearing more than, I'll buy whatever you're selling, I don't even care if it's good or not. But anyway, like I said, kind of trying to set that whole aspect of it aside for now, what I want to do here is ask you if you're maybe someone who loves Star Wars and wants to always just look at the good side of it and never ever be critical towards it, I want to ask if you do that with other shows you watch or just Star Wars. Do you, for example, start a random show on Netflix or whatever, and maybe you don't find it so interesting, maybe it's kind of average at best, but you watch the whole thing anyway, and then you just try to look for all the good parts and um, be positive and happy, even going to Twitter or X and kind of celebrating it and saying these were the positive things, ignoring all the negatives, and basically kind of proclaiming it one of the best things you've ever seen, even if you really know it wasn't. Or do you maybe check out at some point? Do you stop watching it because there are better options out there to watch? There are better shows to spend your limited time on and maybe your limited budget on. Maybe you can only afford one streaming service and you have to pick the one with the best shows. And sure, maybe you do keep watching anyway. I know there are people out there that once they start watching something, once they get into a series, even if it's not that great, they will keep watching because maybe they just kind of need to know how it ends. But if we're being real here, if we're being honest about it, I'm guessing a lot of the time, most of the time, if a show or series isn't good, you'll look for something else to watch. 
you're not going to spend who knows how many hours on an average at best show when you can find and watch a great one and there are many of them out there there are tons and tons of choices out there these days and I'm guessing the average person these days who isn't liking a show is going to do just that. If they start something that isn't good, they'll stop watching. And they're not coming back for a season two or a spin-off show or something else that might be set in the same universe. A lot of the time, they're just going to be done with a franchise if they have one bad experience with it and never look back. So basically what I'm saying here is that even though you, the super fan who loves everything, is going to watch Star Wars no matter what and will always look for the good, the average person out there, the general audience member if you will, isn't going to be so charitable towards Star Wars. They're going to start a show like The Acolyte, potentially find it not so great, or like it only offers a spectacle, which is what I talked about in yesterday's video. I really don't think cool lightsaber fights and other hallmarks of Star Wars like Jedi and all that is even close to enough to impress the average person these days. That type of spectacle in a show of this nature, seeing cool stuff essentially, is simply expected now and it needs more than that to keep people watching. Anyway, the average person is going to start a show like The Acolyte and potentially find it to be not so great and interesting that the story is kind of all over the place and the characters just aren't that compelling, especially if they don't know Star Wars and uh, aren't, shall we say, predisposed to finding a story about Jedi and Sith to be interesting in the first place. And so there's a good chance they're going to find it kind of generic and boring or just not understand why they should even care about this in the first place. Again, they're not Star Wars fans. They don't understand what is going on between Jedi and Sith and why it is such a big deal and thus they're going to turn it off at some point along the way and simply look for something better to watch. Again, keeping in mind just how many other options are out there these days. And then the next time they see a Star Wars show is coming out, they may not even give it a chance because of how bad the last one was. And if they do give it a chance and that one also turns out to be average at best, there's an even less likely chance they're coming back for another series down the road. You have lost them as a Star Wars fan and as a customer even if they hear a bunch of good things about it on social media because, I mean, they saw a bunch of good things being said about the Acolyte back in the day. They saw Star Wars fans proclaiming it to be amazing and clamoring for a second season of that mediocrity. And if that's amazing to them, if that show is worthy of a second season in the opinion of Star Wars fans, if that's the standard they go by, if that's the standard of Star Wars fans, then I guess this franchise just isn't for me. I'm not seeing what they're seeing and I guess I never will. And look, I'm not saying you have to go out there and bash the Acolyte. Heck, you may, and I know a lot of you do, you may genuinely love the show and you do think it's that damn good. And if that's you, if that's how you genuinely feel about it, then more power to you. I'm glad you liked it. But for a moment here, try to take a step back from it. Try to take a step back from being a Star Wars fan. Try to, say, look at it through the lens of a non-fan. Someone who is not seeing the things you potentially are is not understanding why some of these things are so important that at best has a very basic understanding of this franchise that didn't know or care who that creepy guy was peeking out of the cave for two seconds who doesn't have any real vested interest going into this when it comes to the whole Jedi and Sith dichotomy try to look at it that way and tell me what you think they to think of this show do you think it's turning non-fans into Star Wars fans, or do you think they just saw it as a pretty generic sci-fi show with, sure, maybe some cool lightsaber fights here and there, which they've heard are pretty cool in Star Wars from time to time. And no, I'm not trying to contradict what I said moments ago about Spectacle, because yes, absolutely, some will always just enjoy things like a good lightsaber fight and won't care about or need any real meaningful context to enjoy them. And yes, it's fine if you just enjoy to watch a good lightsaber fight. I enjoy them as well. But I would argue more viewers these days care about getting, again, great characters and compelling stories that are well-written than want just a pure spectacle. Sure, some may always love the flashy stuff. They may always come back for a cool saber fight. But the problem is, like I tried to point out yesterday, but other shows offer great fights and visuals and offer a fantastic story with compelling characters that they quickly get vested in. I mean, there's a reason why, say, House of the Dragon is crushing something like the Acolyte when it comes to viewership. And so, if you are that fan out there who is grateful to be getting Star Wars and you want to keep getting it, it's actually in your best interest to be a bit critical towards it. 
It is in your best interest to, at the very least, say to Disney that this is what I think Star Wars could do to be better. Instead of just always saying, this is the part I loved and I want more of it and I don't care about the bad parts at all, I'm fine with that. I'll just ignore them because the lightsaber fights are cool and I love Darth Plagueis. And again, to be clear, I'm not saying you can't love all that stuff. I'm not saying you can't love or shouldn't take enjoyment away from the Acolyte if you really want to. That is, that is fine by me. Enjoyment is subjective, and just because I don't like something doesn't mean you have to not like it too. But if we're trying to be objective about it, is the Acolyte the best Star Wars can be? Is it truly the best product they can put out there? Do you really believe that? Or do you really just want to believe that? Or do you just love it that much where you don't want to think about the fact that, no, this isn't the best Star Wars can be, and that maybe those people who are hating on it all the time actually do have a bit of a point. And that maybe just proclaiming everything to be fantastic or to ignore the bad and to get mad at those who do point it out because they want Star Wars to be the best it can be and to give Disney and Lucasfilm a quality pass Maybe that is uh, detrimental to the franchise in the long run. Maybe you happily accepting less than the best is an excuse for them to keep giving you less than the best, which then chases away others or stops them from ever getting into it because they're not like you. They are not Star Wars fans. They have no reason or desire to be charitable or forgiving towards it. In fact, again, with all the options we have these days, they're going to tend to be more critical than anything else because they're going to look for the best thing to watch. And they may end up just thinking, this is a crap franchise and move on from it forever. They're going to watch it, get frustrated with the poor quality, ask why they're subscribed to Disney Plus for this. Again, a lot of people only have maybe one or two subscription services. They have to choose which ones and they're going to base it off the quality of the content, of course. And so they are going to cancel their subscription. And Disney and Lucasfilm may end up confused. They'll see all these fans on X saying how great the Acolyte was, but that so few are watching it. So what are they supposed to do? What is the takeaway? How can we, as Disney and Lucasfilm, make Star Wars better if there's these fans out there that just love us and tell us how great everything we do is, and where we're just going to ignore those who tell us they don't like it because everyone tells us they're just a bunch of ists and phobes, they're just a bunch of bigots, so we can't listen to them, nor would we want to. I don't know, the true irony here is that the I'm just grateful for any Star Wars crowd are in large part going to potentially be responsible for Disney putting Star Wars on the shelf for a while because everyone but them has checked out. They don't seem to understand that those who are critical of it not only want quality for our money, but we want the best for the franchise because we are also fans of it. It's kind of like a parent that disciplines their child when they screw up. They're not doing it because they suddenly hate their kid. They're doing it because they want to see them learn from their mistakes, to grow into a good person, into the best version of themselves they can possibly be. And that's what the fans who quote-unquote hate Star Wars actually want. We want the best version of it. And I'm not sorry I don't just settle for less. Especially when, long term, it could mean the end of Star Wars to keep just settling for something others, potentially new fans, will never ever take interest in. I'm glad you're enjoying it, I really am, but if no one else is, they're not going to keep making it just for you. Well, that is going to be all I got for you this time. Now it is your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think about all this. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What is your take on always being positive towards Star Wars? Is this the way we should all be, or is it detrimental to the health of the franchise? Whatever the case may be, leave a comment below, let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.